Hello everybody, it's Buddy here, and welcome back to episode 4 of Minecraft. So today's plans were to get a lovely drowned farm beginning, which was, was going to work over there, but then I discovered a spawner underneath while mining. So I'm thinking I could be able to use that as a drowned farm. I'm pretty sure you can convert drown into uh, zombies into drowns. Well, anyway, today... I'm just going to pop back around normal. You can probably tell I've made this little start here. This is going to be the location of our lovely kelp farm. It's going to be a little stumpy sort of one, but we can expand it out if you want to. This is going to be Cub, fam, Cub, Cub Fan's design of what he uses on Hermitcraft. And this is going to be where my smelter area is going to be to make the lovely dry kelp. I really actually need to get a kelp farm up and running, especially because I am struggling to get blocks to like smelt in that there. I have made some progress of smelting stuff slowly, but that's not that much really. And I've also made a progress of making ourselves a lovely entranceway. So we have to just hop down into here. We go down a lovely water stream. I'm probably going to get rid of this one because it takes so long to get down. So what you do is go down in here, and then you go through this door, and then we can go through and down into our lovely mine tunnels, which I've spent some time doing. But down these tunnels here, it leads all the way down to a lovely mob farm zombie spawner so which i will probably use for that there but anyway i'm just going to pop back up i love how fast this is i love it because i'm going to hook this all this into the eventual sorting system which is working really really well still need to work on doing that so my idea was how to drain this area because i'm just going to drain it and build all the redstone in that that i need for the farm well simple answer is sugarcane if you drop down to sugarcane down here Let's just quickly hop down here. You can go along and literally just place it underneath water. And since this block, since the water mechanics doesn't weird, it actually keeps it nice and dry in that area. So I was going to go along and build a sugarcane wall. Very simple. Going around the outside and then you go around in the inside and very slowly start building array away. So like you start draining this entire area with sugarcane. Or simple, just get some gravel and get some lovely, is that a drown? No, get some lovely sand and then just work your way at doing that there. Which shouldn't actually take too long doing it this method, I believe. Well, I'm hoping any, oops, I should go up and get full here. So that's what I'm planning to do, is I'm going to start going around and start draining out this little stump. It's going to be very stumpy this farm, but I'm going to plan to expand it out in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on draining this one section, and I'll be back with you guys once I've started doing that. We'll give you guys a bit of a progress update. See you then. Okay, everyone, I've decided to go and try and attempt to get some sponges. This is probably going to fail really, really badly, but I don't really have a choice, and I've already got mining fatigue. Great. So my idea is to build up a little platform up here. So I can at least try and keep myself, like, some form of safety, I suppose I could call it. Probably not going to happen like that there. All I want to do is create myself some sort of, like, little room that I can use. I could have brought some blocks to do that, couldn't have I? Of course, I've got mining fatigue, so I can't freaking mine these blocks. My idea is to chuck out some furnaces and chuck me down a bed. And that's my idea. And wait for night to come. And as soon as night comes, I'm going to go to sleep. So I've set my spawn here. Function F3, function F2. Take a screenshot so I know where to come. If I die, is there another temple over there? Anyway, I need to go down and I need to kill these elder guardians. Because all I want to do is get sponges. As soon as I get my sponges, I am out of here. See you guys when the sun sets. Okay, people, I am now sleeping, and yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. It's probably going to go absolutely terrible. Let's have an attempt. Come on. Okay, that failed. Please let me spawn just here. Perfect. Okay, now I've got to go down and I've got to hopefully get my... And I'm dead again. Great. Okay, I've just got to try and find where my sword has gone to. 
As soon as I find where that is, oh, I can kill this little, 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 yeah. Damn it, you've got me with that there. Where's my sword? I need my sword. Let's quickly chuck that on. Where is it? No, 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 let me get up, let me get up, let me get up, let me get up, let me get the frick out! Sorry, sorry about that, sorry about that, I panicked. <laughs> this is going to be painful. Perfect. Got one down, I'm happy with that there. Now, the problem is, I don't know where the other ones are. I can't remember where they are normally sleeping. There we go. Spotted one glitching through there. Okay, well anyway, I've got to hold down there. Sorry, I've gone quiet, but I'm trying not my best not to die. I should have really brought a cow with me. So, while I've done hit that block there, there should in theory be another one down here. Well, I've got that hole done, that's good. I'm happy with that there. Let's just try and get another one done. Before I get mining fatigue. Perfect. Okay, I wish I was, there's a way that I could try and make myself breathe underwater. That's my only issue, I didn't bring myself any wood. Let's chuck that in there. As soon as that there smells, I might be able to create myself a little ear pocket in there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down there create myself an ear pocket. Okay, I don't have any torches on me. That's a bit of a pain. Am I, am I dry in here? I did not think this through, did I? Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get up here. Okay, done that there. I need to go in there, and I need to go down and have a team like this one down here. God damn it, god damn it, god damn, damn, damn. No, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead. Come on. Okay, I think that's been like five and a bit minutes. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to be back with you guys once I kill these guardians or at least get a few more wet sponges. Oh. <clears throat> See you then. Okay, people, I went and got some new supplies and got myself a little safe room just so in case it gets a little bit hairy out there. I'm going to just try and kill, kill this guy before he kills me. Okay, another one down, another one down. Look, I, I hate the swimming mode because you can't get out of it easy. And now that I'm in he here, I can now quickly re-heal myself. And I think I've got one more Elder Guardian to go. Half the time, I'm not exactly sure how many there actually is. Here should be... There should be two wet sponges there. Uh, don't kill me, please. Um, I only just hurt your mummy, boss. Now I swim back up and s try and dodge all their bullets. And I get the pet thing on there again. Uh, what? What happened? Ugh! The swimming mode irritates me how it constantly activates. Now I can quickly do those sponges there, and I got myself a lovely cow as well. So, hang on, right, so, so I can retop myself off this lovely milk. Very nice and beautiful. Can I sleep now? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Make it day. Not as dead as so many guardians that this one. Okay. Two elder guardians down. Be back when I get the other one. Trying to kill the second elder guardian here. It's a bit of a mission here. 
because the swimming mode is, is irritating as crap. Let's just create a little safe zone here. Perfect. Let's drink a little bit of milk. Third Elder Guardian is now dead. I repeat, the third Elder Guardian is now dead. Did I get a sponge out of him? I feel I should have. There we go, he's a sponge right there. Whoops. Try not to die. Whoops, yep, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Shoot, get in. Okay. Okay, people, as you can just see, just see, I'm starting just to, I said to clear a way into this monument because at the moment I've got no real way of actually getting access to the sponges. That's all I'm doing right now, as I'm just doing a little temporary little cleaning method way, just so, so I can try and get at least some form of way to get easier access to the sponges. So yeah, I'll be back again once I've drained out my lovely kelp farm with these sponges it should be quite good see you back then we'll see you okay then. everyone just a quick update i thought i'll let you know i've only still got the three sponges here but i'm going to constantly i'm going to still look through here as soon as i can i'm going to still look and get the sponge room if there's a sponge room in here if not i'm just going to have to continue clearing out the thing just by hand but anyway while i'm doing that i'm just going to go through and slowly clear out the temple we're looking for the sponge room May as well do something while I'm trying to look for it, then this here can be the future project of a lovely guardian farm if we get that far in the future. Okay, that was just a quick update, and I'll see you guys, hopefully, definitely, when that farm is slowly drained, because that's what we're meant to be doing this episode. Okay everyone, this is the progress so far, we've drained out this entire area here. So what I've been doing is going along, going one, two, and place that there, nice and perfect, because they, and then you go along, one, two, oops, sorry about that, and then I place it down there, perfectly, and then you go down another layer, and I just place in the other one, perfect, every now and then you do get a couple bits that do not want to be removed, which is a pain, but all is good so far, this is what the place is looking like, and I'm going to be back once I start placing in, I'm going to be back once I start placing in all the bottom bits. We'll start putting in all the redstone in that. See you then. Okay everyone, it's okay everyone, it's now time to start work on this lovely farm. So what we have to do is I've marked out the place here as you place down your glass going along. Very simple, leave a two gap going along, and then you place down a block of your choice, which I'm using this prismarine here. Prismarine bricks, I'm going along. Very simple. Pretty sure that's how it goes anyway. And you go along and then you place down your lovely piston. I'm just going to have to run up and jump over here. Here you go behind, place down your prismarine bricks. And yes, I did go through and I've cleared out most of the ocean monument now. But I did not find a sponge room, which is very gutting. But anyway, that's that's going to be all good because I can start work on the farm. Then you start clearing that there out. So what we do is place down your lovely observers and then you get yourself some lovely reds. That, that I wasn't meant to do that place down some lovely redstone going behind the back of it. Now you go through here. Oops. Go away, try it man. And I'm just going to place down another block of my choice here. And hopefully I do not die. Because I've been killed by tridents many times. And what you do is go along, place down your glass. And I'm just going to quickly clear out this little patch down here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this lovely prismarine 
as my base sort of stuff, I suppose you can call it. So all I'm doing is going along, clearing that there out, and well, I thought I need to have some form of design, so I thought why not use Prismarine for this kelp farm. And I'm assuming kelp can grow on this block anyway. Now that I've done that there, you have to go along and you flood the entire area. So you just go along, water bucket, water bucket, water bucket, water bucket, oops, grab another water bucket and place a water bucket there to make it infinite water sources. And you do this for the top as well. Just go up, place along, very simple and very easy to do. I'm just going to heal myself up a little bit. And I'm going to go quickly grab some lovely kelp. Okay, so all you do is go ahead and just place down one kelp here, going along, very nice and simple. And, and how this works is that when the kelp, oh, let's quickly place up a bit more glass here, and get the water bucket. Whoops. <laughs> Oops, this is not, probably not how it's supposed to go. And it's just full in this here. I was probably supposed to put in the observers first, actually. And so what happens is that the kelp grows up and then it helps make this all sources. So as soon as it grows up, the kelp then gets destroyed and gets pushed out and ri ri rises up. There we go. Quite a simple design there. Oops. As soon as you get up and how you do the next bit is you just place up more glass. Very, very, very simple. And... The next bit is, well, you place down your block here, going along over top of this redstone here. You place down your blocks going along here. Simple. And then, whoops, probably shouldn't have taken it from there. I'm probably actually going to wreck the farm by doing this, eh? I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to place in all the redstone once I've actually finished doing all this. And then what you do is you get your water bucket and you place it along up here. Oops. And it's quite a simple design. I believe I said who built the design earlier. And yep, the designer of this farm was Cupbam135. And it is very simple to actually piece together. Am I not putting over that there? So I'm going to go ahead and, well, oh, and then, yeah, the kelp just goes, simply gets put down on top of these observers here. And then you work on building the rest of the farm. I'll be back with you guys once I have, um, let, let's steal a bit of water from up here. I'll be back with you guys once I've completed this side of the farm and this side of the farm. It shouldn't be, take too long. And I'll be back with you guys when we start working on the next bit, which will be the lovely smelter. See you guys then. Okay everyone, it's been quite some time since the last episode, or well, since the last clip was filmed, and well, since then I have done some grinding of turtles and managed to get some lovely 17 scoot, plus a few more, and got a few more eggs as well. And during that time I also got myself killed by a lovely phantom while I have Kang here. Since I had to open some land and I was watching a film or doing something else and yeah. I got killed. Luckily I didn't lose my items but I lost everything else I had on me. I can't remember if I had anything important on there which I'm pretty sure I didn't. So anyway I've also gone ahead and started smelting up a whole lot of kelp in that as well. And well... Let's just go to sleep. What difficulty do we have it on? It's all normal, isn't it? This arm and skeleton, very interesting. Let's quickly sleep. And so far, I have encountered some lovely phantoms, and they are such a pain to kill. I did do that off camera because I was I was playing on a server at that stage. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's see what this place looks like. Let's just try and let's just try and kill off these guys because I do not want them blowing up my farm let's kill that there off let's just quickly kill off the skeleton as well that, that was actually quite easy to do that wasn't it 
a lovely zombie down there. But anyway, up here, this is what the farm looks like so far. We've got a lovely glass over the top. And when the kelp gets pushed, it comes down through here. So to do this, I've had to put slabs down. And here, since these water log slabs exist now, and a water source on top, so then it flows down and gets collected into here. I am actually going to leave it for now, and I'm not actually going to worry about building the smell, so I'm just going to do it all in this one here, over here. But that's because it's going to be a bit too much work, and I do not have enough resources at the moment. But anyway, I've been, I was trying to come up with an idea of what type of farm I could put down underneath here. I could put down a lovely pumpkin farm or a lovely little miniature sugarcane farm that can just tick along when I'm not working on it. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to call that an end for this day's, today's episode. And next episode, I've got a plan to start work. Why is that over there for? Is there like a gap there? Okay, I might need to cover that up, eh? I'm just leaving this wall in for now because my plan is to eventually expand out the farm a little bit more further. But anyway, the next plan, next next episode, episode 5, I'm planning to get a lovely iron farm built over here. Because I want my farms to be all built around the central island. And then we'll eventually have them all going into the storage system. Which I really need to get some iron because at the moment I'm not able to get, create any hoppers in that there. So yeah, that's, that's the plan for next week next week's episode or next episode get a lovely iron farm there built and get the lovely villages over in that direction over here by boat so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching cue the outro you can be my new thing.